Did you use already ifs function in Google Sheets? If not yet, I will explain you how does it work and what it is is the function. Hey, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gala Reports. On my website, I have a blog with uh, tutorials for Google Sheets and uh, Looker Studio. And I have my template store where you can see some nice templates for marketing. And uh, for little money, you can buy some templates and start to use them like super fast. But let's come back to Google Sheets. Ifs function. It is a logical function. Uh, we have like our regular function if. And in if function, we have one logical expression and what happened if it is true and what happened it, if it is false. Uh, difference with ifs. It is, uh, we can compare multiply expressions. How does it work? When we write formula in Google Sheets and uh, open our bracket, we can see condition one value. So if condition one is true, we use one. If it is false, check condition two. And etc. It could be I don't know, I like a lot of actually conditions. I don't remember that I reached um, the final amount. But for example, we can check if our channel is paid social. We write if paid channel if paid social, then paid. If it is, uh, and we can stop, actually, we can stop like this. And in this case, we will return paid because this is paid social. Let's lock the cell using dollar signs. Uh, but email is not paid social. And we don't have this condition for this in this formula. And we have error. To avoid this, for example, we can use if error um, other. We can we can use a fair function to make results nicer with ifs function and um, it will look like that. Uh, our formula will look like if error other, but we have one condition. If it is paid social, blah, blah, blah. We can add another condition here uh, in our ifs function. So this is condition one, value one. Let's add another condition. if the same cell it is email let's look at this uh what will be our condition um crm for example because it is uh, for returning customers uh, emails for our database and in this case we can see that our formula it's already works more interesting we have page crm other we can add other condition and can check if our channel is organic social. Uh, we can write organic. We can write organic. And in this case, uh, and this simple logic, we can split our channels um, by some groups and have in the end we can have for example paid organic and CRM just three and others if something new happened what is not in the list uh, and already can aggregate our revenue by some, like bigger groups um, actually that is it how does it work uh, we can write any conditions here so it could be equal or not equal to not equal right you can write this symbols uh, we can check if our revenue grows or less some something uh, we can in this example I check one cell for different conditions but it could be different cells so if uh, page uh, if cha if channel is paid social and customer type is returning then something so it is um, 
you can use if function for this as well uh, and include one one if function inside each other um, like channel equal page social if it is true let's check uh, that uh, return customers is returning if it is true is one if it is not true is zero and here is zero actually you can use this option as well like several if function one like nested uh, one into each other uh, in another um, but you can use ifs function and get the same result depends what you prefer there are some little differences, but you can find it in my long video about this topic. And for this, I think that is it. This is ifs function in Google Sheets. Don't forget to give likes this video, subscribe to my channel, to my blog on my website, leave comments if you have questions, and talk to you soon.